As we leave Surrey, we enter the town of West Wickham. On the left, we see the White Hart Public House. This replaces a bear house built in 1820. Before modernization, this had a pond in front of it. Opposite the White Hart Public House, we see a modern block of flats. Here stood an old cottage, which was known as the first house in Kent. This was built by William Derling, gamekeeper, and after his marriage in 1830, raised 12 children. As we travel into West Wickham, we pass St Mark's Church. A bit further on, we notice the new church, previously known as Kingdom Hall. On the left, we find Wickham Hall. This is where the old lecture hall used to be. This building, further down Sussex Road, is now converted into flats and used to be the old congregational church. Here we see the modern Marks and Spencers building, which used to be the old Unigate Dairy. These buildings were blitzed during the Second World War. Here is the Church of St. Francis of Assisi. This was built in 1945. Here is Vine Cottage, which, used, which goes back to the 17th century. The photo shows the rear view which is rather a surprise to everyone. The spawn goes back many years and originally was an old coaching inn. On the right, we see the remains of the old stocks tree, which was removed in 1936 to make way for the traffic. Boots now stands on the site of the old Plaza Cinema, which brought much enjoyment during the Second World War.
the opening of the West Wickham and Hayes Railway was on 29th of May, 1882. The photograph shows Sir John Farnby Lennon sitting on the step. Railway Hotel was also opened in 1882. West Wickham's purpose-built fire station was opened in July 1939 in Glebeway and closed in March 1968. Now we go back to Corkscrew Hill. Across the valley we see the old church of St John's. St John's Church dates back to the very foundation of West Wickham in the 1300s.